beautiful people welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today today i have invited my friend marcy uh you probably have seen her a couple of times on my video already her video uh, youtube channel is marcy mm and i'm going to link of, of course that in the description however today we're going to be talking about the ups and downs the advantages the disadvantages anything in between the ugly the beautiful about living in australia so we've both been here for more than five years and we're going to be talking about our experience so i will go right back to you Masi. what was, would be the first thing you'd like to speak about wow the first thing I would like to say is that uh, I can't believe I've been here five years. Oh my God. Five years ago, a time like now, I was getting ready because mm -hmm. I came here on 8th of October. Oh, so wow. actually this is my anniversary yeah. month, if I may <laughs> call it so myself. Yeah. So anyway, one thing I'd like to say is that uh, Australia has done me good. Yeah, good. I've become um, more confident. I've become more self-aware. I've become, um, I've put myself out there. I have a YouTube channel, which I'm so sure. Back home five years ago, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have put myself out there for the public to, uh, to judge me. So I've kicked fear on the face. I'm able, I've become more, let me just say, more open, more open-minded. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> I feel like Australia has done me good. This is, not, this is not the same person I was five years ago. Let me just say that. This is a completely new person and that has been brought about by, you know, spending time by myself, mm -hmm. being away from family. Mm -hmm. I live by myself. Mm -hmm. So I quite read a lot. I watch a lot and uh, I'm happy. I'm happy to be in Australia. That's no so regrets. Good. That's so good to hear. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good for me. I think Australia has helped me attain financial freedom. Of course, it's a journey. I'm not saying I'm a billionaire yet. You will be a billionaire. But yeah, I think that's one thing that, of course, I really love about this country is that uh, there's a lot of uh, respect for wages. Mm -hmm. And so everybody is compensated fairly. Mm -hmm. And that has helped me be able to pay my own bills, to pay my rent, you know, to travel, which I don't know is something I'll be able to do back home because of course I'm, I'm well aware about the wage gaps that exist, of mm -hmm. course, uh, mm -hmm. compared to Australia and we are both from Kenya. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that I really, really love about this country. The next thing I want to say is, um, and this is going to be on the other side, the negative side is racism is real. Mm -hmm. That is one thing I've come to realize. And I'll say this. When I was back home, I don't know if I was oblivious to racism. Mm -hmm. I used to read, of course, racism in America, racism in where, but it didn't click in my mind mm -hmm. what racism was then. Mm -hmm. Until I came here in Australia and I realized I am different. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're treated differently. It's quite sad, but um, that doesn't uh, stop us from enjoying this beautiful country, right? Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't stop yeah. us. So anyway, you're going to experience racism. It can be subtle, it can be loud, but yeah, racism is, is real. Mm. Yeah, and we've done videos about racism on Stella's channel, on my channel, but uh, we're not going to discuss that today. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's another point. So the other thing, of course, that we've both experienced, I would say, is that there's, uh, the cultural diversity in mm. this country mm. is so, so rich. Mm. You literally meet people from all over the world, like, I didn't even know there was a country by the name uh, Romania. <laughs> I, as in, I've met people from Bangladesh, as in countries that, to be honest, I, I might sound stupid thought, yeah. that I didn't know existed. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just so so beautiful. Mm -hmm. You get to experience the different foods. Mm -hmm. uh, you get to experience people from different backgrounds. You get to learn so much from them, mm -hmm. and yeah. that's something that of course has really of course opened my mm -hmm. mind as well, mm -hmm. and has made me more aware of people's personalities mm -hmm. and how their culture influences the people they are, mm -hmm. and has made me more accepting as well. Mm -hmm. And also just the richness of culture is just so so good. Mm -hmm. So the events, of course, in Australia, for example, that talk that have like international food fairs mm -hmm. so you get to try of course the food and it's, it's just beautiful mm -hmm. I, I can't emphasize about mm -hmm. the cultural diversity in this country i think every country in the world is actually represented in australia it is actually yeah. you're right about that yeah. and 
Another thing I want to uh, say is uh, another thing I love about Australia is uh, the fair wage and remuneration, mm -hmm. and there is respect for labor. Mm -hmm. Whether you're a janitor, whether you're um, a carer, you're a cleaner, whatever you are, mm -hmm. people respect whatever kind of job you're doing. Mm -hmm. And there is no, when it comes to um, the ground has been leveled up by the government, mm -hmm. whatever the job you're doing, you can afford a mortgage, you can afford to have a good car. Mm -hmm. Like you, you can just live a normal life yeah. compared to back home. Absolutely. That is one thing I like, I love about here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the minimum wage is quite uh, good. Let yeah. me just say that. Is it $20? Yeah, I think it's $20. Yeah, or $20 per more. hour for minimum wage. Per hour. So, yeah. um, yeah, that is one advantage Absolutely. about uh, I love, love, love. living here in Australia. Yeah. And uh, even when we, um, of course, when we started as students, wh whether we were doing cleaning or whatever, you would make a decent pay Absolutely. to pay your bills yeah. or to for your groceries and all that kind of stuff. So. We love Australia. We can't lie about that. They're up to date, yeah, so they say. So this might sound a bit harsh, but <laughs> what I've noticed again is that my hair is everybody's business. Seriously, I have braids on. When I go to work on Monday, somebody's gonna half of my colleagues, <laughs> sorry if you're watching this, they're gonna be asking me, oh, how long did that take you? And I'm like, we've had this conversation before. I said braids take about two mm -hmm. to four hours, depending mm -hmm. on who's doing your hair. Mm -hmm. Oh, how often do you wash your hair? Seriously, don't you right. think that is yeah. personal? Yeah. So there's, there's just that and sometimes it's so irritating. But, <laughs> but yeah. truth be told, that's I one know. thing I yeah. might say I don't really like about mm -hmm. Australia is that it's like it's i don't know whether it's projecting or but it can actually make people who are not as confident feel a certain yeah, type exactly, of way because exactly. you're trying to tell them that their hair is not good enough mm. or oh someone actually told me one day when i had my hair open and they're like oh i really prefer you in braids excuse me excuse me you know as in i don't know but yeah that's another thing that as an african woman living in australia i have experienced and I remember one time you told me someone did touch your hair. Oh God, it happens all the time. It freaking happens all the time. It's, it's sad. Yeah. And um, speaking about hair, we have to talk about the salons. Mm. It's hard to find someone who can do your hair okay, really tell good. Me about it. That is another, I don't know. We did underestimate uh, the experience when we were back home, like going to the Kenyatta market. Remember yeah. those, so, so many people are able to do our kind of hair back home, but when you come here, it's totally different. Absolutely. Anyway, another thing I want to talk about is uh, Australia is not a world of full of creepy and dangerous animals like the world portrays it, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I will say this for the last five years, um, I don't think I've ever seen a snake or the spiders. Of course they are there. Mm -hmm. We're not going to sit here and say they're not there. But you don't get to see them all the time, you know. <laughs> you don't, right? Okay. We are safe. That's all we are trying to say. We are safe. Yeah, we have <laughs> seen discussion uh, online and I, I saw someone saying the reason why they would never ever want to visit or to migrate to Australia is because of the, the snakes. Oh. I think they, they think we live with snakes or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If anything, the wildlife in Australia is quite beautiful. I love I kangaroos. The koalas are just so, so cute. cute. Yeah. yeah, that's true. So, yeah. That is one thing uh, I've learned about Australia. Yeah, so mm -hmm. guys, you're welcome to Australia. Mm -hmm. Nothing is gonna kill you. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the other thing is that, oh my god, you you start to miss all the little things that you took for granted. Oh my god, tell me about it. You know, it. like enjoying uh, some Kenyan food, some chapati, giberi, mokimo. Oh my god, you miss all this authentic well homemade food mm -hmm. you especially now during covid my god you miss your family mm. you miss the wildlife you know mm -hmm. going to the national park seeing the lions and the elephants and the monkeys oh my god you really really miss those things and uh it's it's a bit sad and mm -hmm. we just can't wait to get over this thing and mm -hmm. get to see our family mm -hmm. of course we talk to them but it's not the same it's not the same as seeing them yeah yeah it's mm -hmm. not the same mm -hmm. some of our brothers or sisters have had children and you I just want to see the children yeah, you want to be part of the family mm -hmm. you want to be you know and it's really really sad that you just 
you know you don't get to see your family and these are things that you took for granted i remember before i came to australia i used to say i can't wait to leave this house <laughs> and just leave everybody behind <laughs> You know? Oh my but, god! Oh, it's young. It's it stupid. I know. Yeah. I know. And here you are. Yeah. You're missing them, aren't you? I really you? do miss. I really mm. do miss them. Mm. Yeah. Another point I want to talk about now that you've spoken about family is um, when you come here in Australia or when you travel far from Australia, because you don't get time to you don't get to spend time with your family mm -hmm. or whatever. You kind of now, if you meet a good person like the way I met Stella. You hold them dearly, and you you value your friends mm -hmm. even more. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're blessed to have a, a genuine friend, you know someone who is there for you. They become part of your family. Mm -hmm. No, Stella, she's part of my family because yeah. I don't have a family here. Yeah. She doesn't have a family here. Mm -hmm. That's why most of the time you see us doing YouTube, Instagram, and all that kind of stuff because um, we are family. We are family. Yeah. yeah, that's all. So as our last parting shot. Of course, we cannot forget to say that we really do live in one of the most beautiful mm, mm, countries mm, in the world. Mm -hmm. If you ever get a chance to travel to Australia, please do. It is clean, it's serene, the people are beautiful, the coffee is amazing. As in, I don't know what to say, but yeah, if you, of course, I'll, you've seen, I've done videos of different places you can visit Australia, feel free to check them mm -hmm. out. But it is indeed a very gorgeous and beautiful country. We do really feel mm, lucky mm, to be a part of this yeah, great community, yeah. great country. Mm, mm. So before we close the video, I just want to ask you, Mercy, any regrets? Oh, none. None whatsoever. I love Australia. This is my home. This is my second home, actually. Mm -hmm. Remember, even when I travel out of Western Australia, I'm always saying, I can't wait to be back home. I can't mm. wait to be back home. Mm. This for me now feels home and mm -hmm. I won't lie, it has not always been like this. Mm -hmm. It has been quite a journey actually when I started living here. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go back home. Mm -hmm. But then with time things started um, easing up for me mm -hmm. and I'm happy to be here. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to be in Australia. Yeah, oh, that's so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm happy too. You? You're happy? I'm happy too. Mm -hmm. And as you said, it's a journey. So for anybody who's just migrated to Australia or who's planning to migrate, yes. There's gonna be a lot of ups and a lot challenges, of downs yeah. and a lot of challenges. Mm, I always say a lot of tears as well. A lot of tears as well mm. as you try to navigate your mm, pathway through way. a new country. Mm. And I always say, don't give up. Don't give up. Things mm -hmm. will get better. Mm -hmm. Things will suddenly mm. get better, mm. especially once if you're a student, once you finish studying. Mm -hmm. Things do settle down eventually, mm -hmm. but I will always say you gotta be very, very passionate. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people who've gone back. I know a lot of people who've who could take who couldn't take up the mental challenge mm. and the mental you know all that you know all the downs and mm. the self-attitudes mm. and all that mm. the racism mm. but at the end of the day i would say i have no regrets as well and mm. i really love australia mm -hmm. and yeah and i feel very blessed and fortunate mm. to be in this beautiful country wow. So, so with that so said, nice, yeah. uh, guys, please do not forget to check out Massey's videos. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing another video just right after this one. It's, mm -hmm. It was going to be sort of a part two or a continuation of the scene. So please make sure to check it out. Mm -hmm. uh, name and link is going to be right on the description mm -hmm. as always guys it's been a pleasure mm -hmm. thank you so 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 much for watching mm -hmm. and i'll see you guys on my next one bye for now bye, -bye.